Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to day one of Pinkoween. So that means that this is a Shop My Stash edition of Pinkoween because I do a Shop My Stash series once a week with my friend Chip from Moment with Chip. And uh, today is now technically October 1st because this goes up on mon uh, on mi at midnight. There we go, at midnight. <laughs> so um, some days when I do my regular series, I will be doing an extra video. Some days I won't. It just all depends. But today is te technically October 1st, if I could speak. And we're going to do a Halloween Shop My Stash. So for Pinkoween, what you got, if you guys, if this is your first time, last year I did um, a mix of you know vlogging, of masking, and you know talking about my favorite horror movies anything from that to doing Halloween inspired looks like whether it's a glam look that you could just wear to a party if you're going or an actual costume look so it'll be a mishmash of everything and that's what I'm going to do this year as well so sometimes I'll be doing full costumes sometimes I'll just be doing Halloween inspired looks so today is just going to be a Halloween inspired look and I pulled from my older palettes and I have this palette which to me is a Halloween palette and it is the Misha Lou Cosmetics Witchcraft palette so um, this is what she looks like inside and to me Greens and purples are very much Halloween colors, so I am going to do a look with this. So definitely go check out Chip and see what Halloween look she's doing. I'm so excited, and um, yeah, I'm really, really excited for this. So let me know what you guys think of the intro, because I didn't have that last year, and I am so excited. Special thank you to my friend Darcy, who created it and I'm so excited you guys. I have a lot of different plans for this month so um, we'll see how they go. So yeah so Chip is also doing a Halloween inspired look and we you know I didn't tell her what I was doing and I don't know what she's doing so we just know that we're doing something with older products and it's going to be Halloween themed so <laughs> that is what we're doing and also my midnight makeup series with debbie knoblock will also be halloween themed at least on my side and some of the time also on her side so it just all depends on what we decide to do so i'm so excited let me know down below if you are excited about pinkoween as well now i have done one look with this palette before and not gonna lie, it was not my favorite palette to work with um, at the time, which I think is why I've only done one look with it. But it is a beautiful palette and I definitely wanna do something really pretty with it today. So I'm gonna go into Cauldron and a little bit of Potion. And we're gonna mix that together. I wanna do a halo eye today with this because I think it's the perfect palette to do that with and these greens are pretty I don't remember why I didn't like it before I think I don't think it was the palette I didn't like I think it was just the look that I came up with that I wasn't the craziest about I guess so I just remember seeing this on Aniela Kniquest, uh channel initially and I was like oh I need that palette and I bought it I'm probably going to also do a video where I talk about all of my different Halloween palettes because, believe it or not, I have quite a few. And I don't know if you guys saw the Manny MUA palette coming out, but I think I will definitely be purchasing that. It looks really cool, and I like that the names are inspired by different witches in different movies and TV shows and stuff like that. So let me know down below if you're planning on picking it up. If I do pick it up, it will be probably one of the last things that I pick up this year because, oh my goodness, I have so many things. And some videos will be 
some videos may not be technically Halloween themed just because, you know, like with the Norvina palettes, like I'm going to do videos with those. And it all depends on if I can come up with an actual Halloween look with those palettes. But there will be 31 days. I mean, there will be 31 videos in October, back to back. So regardless, you'll get a video. And I will probably be dressed for Halloween in some way. <laughs> so, but most of them will be Halloween themed. And I also have some really cool Halloween themed collaborations coming up. Okay, now I'm going into the shade Black Witch. That's a scary name. And it is just the black eyeshadow in the palette. So I'm going to put that on the outer. I'm not, this is a very pigmented black eyeshadow, which I like. I forgot to bring my makeup wipes over here, but that's okay because we're going to do our face off camera so I'll just clean it up then. So do you guys do anything special for Halloween? Do you have any traditions that you do in the fall or for Halloween or in October in general? We generally go to like a fall festival here in our area and I love going to different fall fairs and stuff like that so we'll probably do that and I might actually vlog part of it and make that part of Pinkoween. Whew, that's looking spooky. So and then usually for Halloween itself we go over to my brother's house and we just spend um, Halloween over there and pass out candy and then we hang out, watch movies, order pizza. So now I'm going into the duochrome shade that is in the palette. It is called White Witch. And it is just a beautiful, like, greenish white duochrome. And I'm just going to put that right over the edge of both sides. I feel like this shade got hard panned very quickly. So I'm really trying to like rub into it to get it to show up. I love this series that Chip and I do, and I love Chip. I just love that we do this together and that we bring you guys videos with older palettes that really need some love because we haven't used them in a while. And we do have a lot of the same older palettes. So sometimes we'll be doing the same the same palettes and sometimes we'll be doing something totally different and this week we're to we're doing something totally different and I just know that she's really really super talented and I know that she's gonna come up with something amazing so on camera you can't tell as much that this is a duochrome green shift shadow but it really is and in person like when I look at my mirror I can see like a I can see a shift. So let me go clean up my face, do my base, and I'll be right back to finish up the eyes. Okay, I look crazy. I decided to do my eyebrows absolutely nuts today. This is Invasion from Urban Decay. I also used it as my liner, so um, I know it looks crazy, but sometimes it's fun to switch up your brows and make yourself look crazy when it's Halloween. So I'm going to go into the shade Cauldron. Yeah, I can't decide if I like the brows. No, I mean, I definitely don't for every day. <laughs> but for a Halloween look, I think it's fine. It's like a... It's like a blackish teal color. I don't know. It looks interesting. Let me know what you guys think down below. This is just for fun. I would not wear my brows like this unless I was going to a Halloween party or something like that, so... I just thought it would be fun for today. Okay, so I removed the top layer of that shadow and kind of tried to um, make it a little bit more prominent, I guess. And I think it definitely worked. I'm going to put it in the inner corner as well. And I'm going to use it as my highlighter today. 
I almost decided to switch to the Moonwell bundle that I got from Davina, but I was like, nope, that's cheating because it's not older. So I'm gonna spray my face with Dewy Set Spray. I mean, technically we're allowed to use newer and older stuff in here, but I just figured. So I'm gonna go into White Witch as my highlight. Ooh, picked up a lot. And it's just gonna give me that beautiful green sheen. Yeah, definitely taking off the top layer of hard pan. Oh no. Oh, no. You guys. Mm -hmm. What have I done? Okay. So what happened there was that I went into, oh, I went into the shadow next to it. The shadow next to it is called, I don't know, I can't read it, but it's, it's this one right here. And, um, almost highlighted my face with that. So let me make sure the brush is cleaned off and let's try that again. Ah, oh, only me. Okay, much better. Much, much better. <laughs> Of course, something like that would happen the first day of pink coin, right? All right, so I'm gonna go into my uh, Monsieur Big Mascara, and I'm going to pop that on, and then I think I'm gonna do a black lip today. I haven't done a black lip in a while. So we're gonna use Jeffree Star's Weirdo. Definitely make sure that you go check out Chip because I'm sure that she did something absolutely amazing. She is absolutely amazing. She's so talented and she doesn't even know it. So, oh my, a lot came off. That is going on. And now it's on my teeth. Does anyone else have the issue with Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks where they like get kind of gloopy over a while and not even a long while? But this is one of my favorite black liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to let that dry for a second. I'm going to put that in my box, which is here off to the side. Well, now it's on the floor, but it's going to go in my box. Um, I definitely like this look that I created with this palette better than the first one. If I can remember, I will link the first one up in the card so you guys can see. But this definitely reminds me of a Halloweenish look that you could wear to a Halloween office party or on trick-or-treating night, trick-or-treating night, otherwise known as Halloween. You could wear it on Halloween and, um, you know, just wear something kind of Halloween glam without going full-on costume. And I got this headband at CVS. So please let me know what you think down below. Please let me know if you have any ideas. I've pre-filmed quite a bit of uh, Pinkoween, but not everything. So let me know if you have some ideas and let me know what you think of this look. I kind of left myself pretty pale for this. I didn't put on a whole lot of bronzer or blush just so that I would look kind of dead, I guess. Um, but yeah, I kind of like it. The brows I'm not the craziest about, but that's just because I wouldn't normally wear my brows like this. But for Halloween, it's fun. So definitely go check out Chip from Moment with Chip. She will be linked in the description box down below and in the cards. And show her some love. Let her know I sent you. You guys know that we do this series every week and I'm so grateful to her for doing this with me. I absolutely love it. So I love you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow.